America, America. I'm not actually going to sing the song, firstly because I'm Canadian and that would be wrong. And secondly, because there's lots of swear words in there and I don't, I don't play like that. So, happy Independence Day, USA, and f*** the Brits. <laughs>I forgot to mention that we'll be announcing the winner of last month's Fans with Benefits prize later in the video, so stay tuned and don't touch that dial if you happen to have hooked up a dial to your internet browser for some reason. To the news! Unless you've been hiding under a rock this weekend or you just actually had things to do instead of browsing the internet, you've probably heard about the Radeon RX 480's power issues. But in case you haven't, the card launched last week to mostly positive reviews, but reports sprung up, most notably from Tom's Hardware, claiming that not only does the card exceed its 150 watt power rating, but it occasionally draws as much as 90 watts through the PCIe slot, exceeding the 75 watt spec limit. Now most reviewers, including us, didn't catch on to the PCIe issue because it does involve a much more technical power testing setup than most people have access to. Now the extremely intelligent and methodical folks over at PC Perspective made a half hour video and a whole article going in depth on the issue, so click here for the gritty details, but essentially this is an issue that could in some very specific scenarios, like extended gaming sessions, lead to motherboard damage. Now AMD has released a statement saying the tuning of some RX 480s was not optimal. Mm. They're currently testing a driver that implements a fix and will give an update on Tuesday, that's tomorrow. So we'll have to wait until tomorrow to see what this fix entails. If you want to see my review of how two RX 480s perform in Crossfire, click here. Now Nvidia is no doubt looking to swoop in in the turmoil of all this RX 480 news with the impending launch of the GTX 1060. Detailed photos have been leaked all over and up in the internet showing a slightly different reference cooler design than the 1070 and 1080, a single six pin power connector and specs that should peg its performance at around half of the 1080s. There's also no sign of an SLI bridge which sort of makes sense given that Nvidia seems to just straight up be telling people to not use multi-GPU setups. The 1060 is reportedly slated for a July 7th launch, so prepare your butts. And multiple reports suggest Microsoft may be planning on launching a new Surface product as early as this fall. The device is apparently an all-in-one PC that would run on Intel's upcoming KB Lake 14 nanometer processors, but instead of a traditional desktop machine, it's positioned for the living room and is being compared to a premium appliance or piece of furniture. The details we have so far make it sound like Microsoft is bringing back its original tabletop concept, which is where the Surface line originated back in 2007. If Microsoft combines this concept with their PixelSense hand tracking tech, which they actually also retired, we could have a pretty interesting product on our hands. Meanwhile, a Surface phone is still nowhere to be seen. It's time for... Quick Bits. Yeah, <laughs> Bob just taking the snowmobile out for a rip, eh? <laughs> just keep giving her, bud. Yeah. Oh, send us a clip of yourself saying quick bits for a chance to get featured. I don't know what that was. Back at CES, Cooler Master showed off a kinetic CPU cooler in partnership with Coolchip, and the latter is apparently moving forward with the design, showing off a low profile cooler with a spinning heatsink instead of the traditional stationary design. Another vulnerability has been found in Lenovo PCs. This time it's a UEFI bug that can open a system to malware attacks, but it might actually be Intel's fault this time since the offending code apparently came from them. But people are still calling the weakness ThinkPone, cause, cause ThinkPad. Microsoft is now desperate for Windows 7 and 8 users to upgrade to Windows 10 so much that they've resorted to full screen pop-up ads. The free upgrade offer expires on July 29th, so if you haven't decided whether you want to upgrade yet, better figure it out by then. And also probably just upgrade, I don't know. It's Unless you have some specific thing going on where you need the features of Windows 7. Anyways, never mind. Despite much opposition to their technical feasibility, solar freaking roadways are still kicking, so much so that the Missouri Department of Transportation will install a test section in a sidewalk at the Route 66 Welcome Center. And London police are looking at using drones to pursue car and motorbike thieves rather than engaging in dangerous car chases. They look really cool in movies, but apparently in real life they put people in danger a lot. So. 
who knew? New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Hey, happy birthday to Harry and Dave. I guess today isn't either of your birthdays, but it's close to it, so that's what Christmas is all about. Have a good birthday, guys. It's the first net length of July, and you know what that means. And if you don't, I'll tell you. It's time for us to announce our Fans with Benefits winner for this month. Can I get a drum roll, please? That was pretty bad. Congratulations to Porfirio Lopez with his comment, Barrett is my favorite host. No, can we pick someone else? That's... <sighs> Congrats, Porfirio. I think I'm saying your name right. You won a G-Skill Ripjaws KM780 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard with Cherry MX Brown switches. I said it right this time. Check your YouTube inbox for a message from us with instructions on how to claim your prize. So click here or the link in the description to get there in case you don't know where it is. Uh, so that's the prize for July. Uh, sorry, that's the prize for June. The prize for July is a SteelSeries Rival 300 optical gaming mouse and a QCK Plus cloth gaming mouse pad. Or click gaming mouse pad. All you gotta do to enter to win those is subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips and comment on any video from this month. That's it. We do this every month because we love you guys so very much and we appreciate you. For real though. So get commenting and may the odds be ever in your favor. I don't know what hand gesture goes with that. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Happy 4th of July, America. You just keep doing it.